Hey everybody, Chef Beardsley. Uh, we're gonna do probably a little run with the Outcast uh, 8S today. I wanna show you guys what I picked up. I actually picked up a couple things. I'm starting to stop pile parts. Um, first thing I picked up was the uh, ESC programmer. Um, I did change the settings in here. Like if you guys noticed in my last video, I went through everybody to listen to beeps and count lights and I, that's too much. But it seems like a pain in the butt. I picked this up for 30 bucks. Um, you can just plug this into the ESC and you can just do everything right here on the screen. So I figured if I go out and I want to change something on the fly, I don't have to go through the manual and try to figure out what the beeps mean. I could just use this and it has a battery checker on it, which is pretty legit. And it just plugs right in and you can just change all the settings right on the screen. So I figured for 30 bucks, it's something I can test out. I got some uh, turnbuckles for the front, uh, glow plugs for nitros, pins for the arms, uh, ball ends for the whole truck i also picked up some other parts the other day i got the rpm arms down here for it uh the shock shafts obviously for m2c uh more shock parts for it uh ball balls for the shocks um and the rear axle carriers or whatever you want to call them icon carriers what do they call them the rear hub um so we can really bash it um Someone asked me in my most recent video how I charge my uh, Z batteries. I'm using the T240 du AC, Duo AC-DC charger. Uh, RC Guy Garage recommended it. So you just plug this into the balance board. I plug, I got these squids so I have every connector I'm ever going to need into here. And then, oh, I'll stop this real quick. It's on 4 cell. I'm charging rate is at 7 amps just because it's 7,000 mAh battery. This can go up to 10 amps. And then literally I just hit start. And then I can go to cell. It shows me what each cell is at. And this is channel 2. I can do two batteries at the same time. Um, and there's those cell settings. Uh, you can go really in depth with this and change everything up. But that's the settings I use. Seems to work well. Uh, this charge is pretty much idiot proof. I, I love it. Uh, if you do get this charger, I recommend getting a set of squids for each side so you can charge wherever the hell you want. So let me charge up some batteries. Uh, I don't think we're going to go to that bash spot today because it's a little later in the day. I think uh, we'll find see if I can find something out in the woods. Might not be a super hard bash, but I want to run it. And uh, yeah, let me organize the shed a little bit and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey everybody. So we're about to go in the woods near my house. It's a... Uh, what's it called this is another example of uh useless government spending uh this is a canoe launch they made that nobody uses that it's a giant waste i grew up here um playing in the creek and i know these woods like the back of my hand i could have got here the back way like through my yard and walking through the woods but i'm a big boy i don't feel like walking that far so like right through this way there should be a little like quad track um but yeah that's the canoe launch that's a joke uh use, useless government spending so i'm gonna walk back here and uh hopefully it isn't too overgrown or muddy and uh we'll see what happens all right everybody i made it out here as you can tell it's super overgrown like everywhere uh there's huge puddles which i will avoid at all costs for right now uh, cause I can't find diff fluid anywhere. Um, there's a huge hill over there that I could jump off of, but it's all overgrown right now. So fall is coming. So hopefully I can get back out here when everything dies along with the mosquitoes. And I hope you guys appreciate me walking out here because, uh, it's super hot today. So let me fire this bad boy up and it's not going to be a super hard bash cause obviously everything's overgrown. But I'm gonna get this thing running. Alright guys, 
so I came up a different way. Um, back there is pretty overgrown and kind of crappy right now. Need to wait for fall. So welcome back to my truck now. I have a draped over my back. I wish you guys could see this. It looks funny. Um, I'm going to try to do some running around here. Nothing crazy. Hopefully the stuff dies soon. So when I get back to the truck, I'll turn you guys back on. Batteries are dead. Hi everybody, back in the shed. Um, I have the issue that everybody else has that pushed this rod end in. So it's a it's all messed up, but I got new rod ends. I think I have a fix for that. Um, other than that, I held up well. Like I said, there's no big bash. Sorry about the bad footage. It's all overgrown and crappy. But uh, I did run it a little bit, which is nice. That's what, what I wanted to do. Um, now I'm gonna put my batteries in storage mode. You know, do the smart thing for your batteries. And uh, yeah, we'll be all set. So I appreciate you guys watching, like and subscribe. Uh, sorry for the bad footage, but I wanted to get out and do something today. So have a good one. Catch you on the next one.